конце. Хорошо, хорошо, хорошо. Там есть... Заберемся. Две секунды и будем починаты. Another two seconds and we'll start. We are going to discuss uh, the economic growth of Ukraine and the action plan for that uh, is uh, provisionally called Marshall Plan for Ukraine. Uh, the format of our discussion is uh, the format uh, uh, proposed uh, by the Institute of uh, Social Economic Research. Um, among the panelists are the experts of the Institute and the uh, representatives of the civil society of Ukraine. Uh, we are being watched uh, online. Uh, the uh, program, uh, our event, is, uh, is, is uh, aired uh, also by the uh, channel uh, of uh, the media uh, center itself. Uh, it's all accompanied by uh, simultaneous translation. Uh, and uh, I am uh, Dan Pusenko, and I am uh, supposed to moderate this discussion. So uh, the topic of our discussion is the plan uh, of U for Ukraine, not Marshall Plan. It's been well, there has been a discussion, there was a discussion for some time uh, uh, about uh, where to place the stress, Marshall or Marshall plan. Uh, so uh, we are not going to uh, vote on uh, uh, the best way of pronouncing it. Let's uh, pronounce it as Marshall plan. It's been uh, half a year now that Ukrainian politicians and uh, uh, experts uh, have been discussing uh, this uh, Marshall Plan uh, for Ukraine, uh, and uh, uh, the discussion centered around uh, the amount of money that is needed uh, uh, for Ukraine. And uh, But uh, uh, our today's uh, question is whether this idea of Marshall Plan uh, is uh, uh, so to say, limiting, uh, s uh, put some constraints on uh, the plan f of economic development for Ukraine. We aim with this discussion to start uh, discussing the complex of uh, decisions uh, that uh, might bring about economic growth of Ukraine. So we uh, took this idea of uh, the Marshall Plan and uh, start our discussion. Uh, a partner in this discussion is Ukrainian uh, Media Center for which we are grateful. Uh, we have a number of experts, uh, representatives of academic circles uh, uh, here. Uh, you are most welcome to put your questions uh, uh, either after the discussion uh, or uh, at the end of it, uh, uh, because uh, of the time constraints, we might not be able to give the floor to all uh, those who would like to put their questions. So at today's Smart Talk, which is uh, the format of discussion of uh, with the participation of uh, the experts, uh, are uh, the former uh, Prime Minister of uh, uh, Lithuania, Mr. Maksuta, uh, the uh, Chairman of the Board of uh, the Institute of uh, Social Economic Research, the former First Deputy Minister of uh, Economic Development of Ukraine, uh, Ms. Kristina Avramchenko, who is the Deputy Director of the Institute of Social Economic uh, uh, Research on uh, uh, Media Relations and Communications and Public Relations, and uh, the representative uh, of uh, the uh, Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine, uh, the representative of its Committee on Entrepreneurship. We uh, also expect uh, to uh, uh, the uh, representative, uh, another representative of uh, the Verkhovna Rada, and also we uh, expect the representative of uh, the Institute of uh, uh, for Economics and Forecasting of the Academy of Sciences of Ukraine. So, the alternatives that we discuss today is pragmatism, uh, not conservatism, and uh, uh, economic growth enrichment rather than begging for resources for funding. 
So, let us start with a brief overview of uh, this idea. At the recent uh, Congress of the European uh, Popular Party uh, in Malta, uh, there was uh, an idea uh, put forward on uh, a sort of a Marshall Plan for Ukraine. But there has uh, been no uh, concrete, there have been no concrete uh, uh, suggestions uh, with regard to the funding of uh, this Marshall Plan for Ukraine. Uh, so no concrete uh, things. We have difficulties. Uh, we'll be able to resolve it soon, I hope. So again, it's about the resolution of this uh, popular uh, party congress uh, about uh, uh, that included this uh, item on Marshall Plan for Ukraine. No specific suggestions about financing this plan, but uh, uh, some European officials, uh, uh, common European structures officials uh, uh, still use uh, this term and there are some striking uh, uh, comparisons made between uh, Ukrainian situation now and uh, the uh, post-war situation uh, after the Second World War uh, all over Europe. So, uh, this idea uh, of a Marshall Plan for Ukraine is seductive in itself because it promises a lot of money, some external funding that Ukraine uh, uh, needs. Uh, but can we really compare today's Ukrainian situation with uh, the situation that uh, uh, was uh, in Europe 70 years ago. Well, to make parallels, uh, for example, uh, between uh, comparing uh, Germany of 1947 and Ukraine of today uh, is uh, uh, somewhat uh, stretched. Uh, these parallels are somewhat stretched. Uh, in total, uh, after the war, 18 countries uh, were provided with some financial aid in order to uh, get Europe out of crisis, uh, to uh, protect uh, it uh, from the uh, or against the expansion of communism, uh, the United States put forward a plan uh, uh, named after the U.S. State Secretary of that uh, period of time, uh, George Marshall, and. Uh, the central idea of, of the plan, uh, uh, of his plan, was uh, to provide equipment rather than ready-made products. But uh, in the end, uh, the equipment uh, for production amounted only to 17 percent of the overall exports uh, that uh, the United States uh, 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 gave or exported to Europe. Uh, so basically, it was uh, uh, beneficial uh, to the U.S. Uh, Economy, uh, for example, uh, France exported American uh, coal, uh, paying twenty dollars a ton instead of buying its own uh, coal, uh, uh, the cost of which was twelve dollars. Uh, 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 so the general understanding for any external uh, financial assistance is that any uh, penny invested uh, in a given country should uh, generate some, uh, some uh, so to say, impact uh, in the form of uh, uh, some economic growth. Uh, but uh, we need to take into account uh, the current situation uh, in Europe, for example, uh, where uh, there is the overproduction, the surplus of uh, a lot of products, for example, agricultural products. Uh, and, uh, we need to take into account that uh, uh, at that time, uh, when the Marshall Plan was introduced, uh, European currencies uh, were devalued after the war. Uh, the export, uh, or the, the import of uh, European resources uh, and raw materials uh, was very advantageous to the United States. Uh, my view of the Marshall Plan is that it was uh, uh, it uh, contributed to the restoration of uh, the uh, European countries' economies. Uh, it contributed to uh, the acceleration of economic growth in Europe, and uh, it also uh, uh, was a powerful. Uh, 
impulse, so to say, for Euro-Atlantic integration uh, that demonstrated uh, and strengthened the link between uh, the United States and uh, Western Europe. Ukraine uh, currently uh, is now one of the largest countries of uh, Europe uh, with the population of 42 uh, million people. Uh, it has a large uh, potential, economic potential and uh, Ukraine uh, in essence, does not need uh, any restoration efforts uh, because uh, its economy was not uh, destroyed. When we um, ask ourselves whether we need similar plan for Ukraine, uh, we should uh, acknowledge that uh, it's more uh, that uh, in the province of Ukraine's uh, uh, need for a closer uh, integration, uh, uh, thanks to which Ukraine could become a, a beacon, an example for all of Europe. Um, uh, we cannot. Uh, compare uh, uh, modern Ukraine situation with the uh, Second World War aftermath uh, in Europe. Uh, we uh, need uh, the uh, plan of uh, uh, cooperation uh, with Europe that uh, is supposed to be written uh, or must be written uh, by Ukrainian experts rather than by someone uh, uh, abroad. Ukraine needs uh, the investments. Uh, 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 in uh, the amount of uh, about 600 billion uh, euros uh, that will uh, make Ukraine a growing, prosperous uh, uh, country and uh, that uh, will uh, be a way out for Ukraine from the current situation when the economic planning is only done until the next elections uh, and uh, uh, this uh, uh, such cooperation uh, will uh, uh, plentify, uh, make more plentiful the productive sector of Ukraine, thus making it economically independent, uh, uh, not uh, imports uh, from uh, various uh, European and other countries uh, that uh, nowadays mainly substitute U the Ukrainian uh, own production. Uh, Mr. Jenner, you joined us uh, recently. Uh, there was, uh, uh, in that uh, brief uh, presentation, a, a figure mentioned of 17% uh, uh, to which amounted uh, uh, the equipment uh, shipments uh, into uh, uh, destroyed European countries uh, uh, during the uh, implementation of Marshall Plan. Uh, that brings uh, us uh, to another question, uh, how uh, can uh, we uh, put Ukraine on track of uh, economic growth? And uh, could uh, the international community, uh, or will the international community, uh, stronger uh, Ukraine? Uh, let's listen to uh, Ms. Avraminko, who is Kristina Avraminko, expert on uh, foreign economic relations. Good afternoon. Uh, uh, to, to get rich, uh, not to uh, beg the slogan for uh, Ukraine. So the uh, currently discussed uh, plan uh, can be advantageous to Ukraine. I will inform you now, uh, I will tell you now about uh, why and how it could be done. We know that there have been some successes uh, recently uh, that uh, among them uh, were some economic growth during the last six quarters, but at the same time, uh, the uh, salaries and wages uh, decrease, uh, the GDP uh, uh, declines, uh, and the recent figures say that more than 60% of uh, Ukraine's population are uh, beyond the poverty line. Ukraine's GDP, as compared uh, to uh, 1990, has decreased uh, uh, by at least 32 percent. So uh, if we see at uh, the present day uh, problems uh, of uh, uh, this country, we can say that they are mostly uh, economic problems. Lots of Ukrainians, millions, uh, have to leave the country uh, and go to the other countries. Uh, seeking uh, better uh, life and uh, better salaries and wages. 
Uh, let us look at some data. According to the IMF data, Ukraine from 1917 to 1922 uh, will be uh, growing, Ukraine's economy, uh, by 3.5% a year. But uh, even if this trend continues, we will only be second poorest after Moldova, second poorest country in Europe. For us uh, to even uh, up to uh, uh, Poland, Ukraine's economy from 2017 to uh, 2025 uh, need to grow by at least 8% a year. What are the outcomes that we uh, look at? Ukraine is in the first and second uh, stages of economic development by our uh, uh, categorization. The first category uh, are the country uh, who can compete only due to their raw materials and uh, uh, labor resources. Uh, the second is uh, uh, the country's the second category is uh, the country that produces foods, and among these countries are Mongolia, Honduras, uh, uh, in some aspects, uh, Russian Federation. So for, we need to uh, make a great leap in order to catch up with more economically developed uh, countries. We think that uh, uh, such a leap can only be done uh, uh, with. Uh, the rapidly increasing investment, larger volumes of investments uh, into Ukrainian economy. So we think that the government needs to develop a, a respective strategy. Uh, and uh, we, uh, our institute, based on our concept of economic pragmatism, uh, are uh, able to provide necessary calculations uh, um, uh, substantiate uh, such uh, strategy. So we are seeking uh, through this event to find some uh, like-minded people among the experts. Well, the first question uh, during our discussion of this topic, to get richer, uh, not to beg, uh, let us address this question to Mr. Kubilus, uh, who is currently the uh, member of uh, the Parliament of uh, uh, the Parliament of Lithuania. So, my first question to you is: uh, Why global community needs a stronger Ukraine? Thank you. Good afternoon uh, to all. Uh, it's a very uh, substantial question to uh, spend an hour uh, expressing, um, answering it. But um, as I have uh, listened to the previous speakers, uh, although I do not uh, know Ukrainian well, it seemed to me uh, that Mr. Maksuta uh, referred to the reason uh, of uh, for the adoption of Marshall Plan uh, back in 1947. The reason. Uh, was, and uh, that was mentioned in that uh, small presentation at the beginning, uh, one of the reasons was uh, that uh, 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 the Western European countries and the United States uh, uh, looked with uh, concern at uh, uh, Stalin's policies. And uh, as we know, Mr. Stalin was, uh, uh, after the war, uh, active uh, uh, foreign policy, and uh, in many countries, uh, like in Italy, in France, for example, uh, uh, a lot of people were ready because of uh, very uh, hard economic conditions, and uh, uh, after the Second World War that could not be prepared, they uh, uh, were ready to vote for the communists, for example, who were guided by uh, uh, Stalin, although, albeit interacting but, uh, uh, still, uh, it seemed to be uh, so. So that was uh, the question uh, then. Uh, today, the question, a uh, similar question, ca can be asked about uh, Russia uh, and uh, what can be done about these countries. That might be the question for us now. Uh, the countries uh, that uh, uh, are members of uh, the European, uh, for example, neighborhood, 
area. Uh, if we look at uh, uh, what Mr. Putin needs to do, he doesn't need to do anything. Uh, he just needs to wait for some time with current uh, harsh economic conditions in East and Central uh, European countries. Uh, uh, a lot of people, uh, more and more people, uh, grow unset uh, unsatisfaction among them grows, and uh, ultimately they uh, would be ready after some time to uh, opt for another uh, way of development for their countries. Why, uh, for example, uh, our country uh, engaged in reforms uh, and uh, uh, if, if avoid uh, that uh, development or similar development uh, because we were offered uh, at the very beginning when we, uh, uh, after the breakup of the Soviet Union, we were offered uh, the uh, membership uh, uh, in the European Union. Uh, certainly I understand that today uh, uh, the uh, European Union is uh, not ready to uh, offer membership uh, perspective or prospects, uh, sorry, uh, prospects to uh, Ukraine. Uh, it's good that they started directly mentioning now Western Balkans as uh, Western Balkan countries uh, as potential members. Uh, but uh, uh, in my view, uh, the motivation for reforms uh, in Ukrainian society and uh, among the uh, Ukrainian political elite uh, uh, cannot be sustained uh, for uh, a long uh, time. Uh, therefore, we uh, suggested uh, that uh, 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 Ukraine, uh, albeit uh, it might not be offered uh, this uh, uh, direct prospect uh, of uh, quick European membership uh, can still be offered uh, a variety, a variation, so to say, of the Marshall Plan or, or something similar uh, for uh, preserving these motivations among, Ukrainian, uh, among the Ukrainians. Uh, we took some figures uh, by Ms. Yaresko and Anders uh, uh, Asmundsen, uh, who calculated that uh, uh, the investments of about 5 billion uh, uh, euros, like one-time investment uh, that has never occurred before, uh, maybe it's in the form of some subsidies uh, in order to stabilize uh, macroeconomic situation, uh, if something like that, some package of that sort could be um, formed, then uh, economic growth uh, uh, in Ukraine could uh, uh, reach uh, five or maybe six percent, and uh, that's the uh, uh, benchmark that uh, we think uh, uh, needs to be attained. Why is it needed? Again, uh, let me repeat myself. Uh, uh, this is. Uh, uh, the, these are uh, the only uh, possibility uh, to, uh, by making Ukraine stronger, by making Georgia stronger, uh, by making Moldova stronger. Uh, uh, that is uh, the only instrument uh, for, uh, to break them uh, from Russia and uh, by thus helping Russia uh, to become uh, more democratic. Uh, I will probably finish it here. Well, as usual, it was the most interesting uh, uh, place uh, when uh, you uh, stopped your deliberations. Miss Anna, uh, my question, next question is uh, to you. You are one of the most uh, prominent activists uh, uh, promoting this Marshall Plan for Ukraine. Can you share your impressions uh, of uh, your uh, communication with European uh, expert community, European officials, if you uh, contact them, uh, what's uh, uh, you and what is generally your uh, uh, outlook, so to say? Uh, wouldn't uh, we repeat again this uh, uh, 
a Marshall Plan mistake of very small proportion of uh, productive equipment uh, and uh, uh, rather than just the increase of uh, exports uh, into Ukraine, uh, the uh, ready-made goods, finished products. Well, uh, we need uh, to not to repeat the Marshall Plan, but to uh, uh, highlight the projects, uh, investment projects that uh, we uh, want to be financed. Uh, uh, we are talking about uh, cheap uh, finance, financial resources that uh, we can draw uh, into this country. That's what we need. We need to understand that clearly, uh, uh, that we are looking at uh, uh, an opportunity to develop a Ukrainian uh, option. Uh, and let me thank Mr. Kubilius uh, for uh, Lithuanian uh, Parliament's initiation. Uh, of uh, this discussion. Uh, we met uh, earlier this uh, year uh, and uh, we uh, uh, active uh, for ourselves to, st to initiate this discussion in all uh, important geopolitical uh, capitals of the world. We already visited Washington, D.C. and uh, uh, given those expectations of, uh, in Ukrainian society, uh, we think that uh, uh, we need to continue this work. Uh, I would like to thank Mr. Kubilis again that uh, uh, the Lithuanians uh, participated in uh, the bicycle tour of uh, uh, East uh, Ukraine, uh, of Eastern Ukraine, uh, uh, that was supposed to popularize this idea of this large investment plan. Uh, so, that's uh, important to uh, point out that uh, we have already uh, made some, so to say, political groundwork uh, for this plan and uh, a draft uh, of the resolution uh, uh, was uh, uh, submitted by us uh, into the uh, uh, Economic Committee of uh, the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine. Uh, and. Uh, uh, so that they can forward this uh, with the proposal of forwarding this uh, economic plan uh, uh, to the uh, for the consideration of uh, European uh, uh, countries uh, and uh, presented also for forwarded into to, to the European uh, uh, Community. We would like to uh, sub to uh, submit also uh, the uh, draft of that uh, investment plan to Lithuanians for to learn. Uh, so that we can learn their view. And um, uh, you asked about uh, uh, my impressions uh, of uh, my contacts uh, with uh, uh, West European countries and their officials. Uh, when we visited some of those, of those countries, we were asked uh, uh, directly, we were asked directly about uh, what uh, projects uh, uh, do we have in mind? Uh, uh, what will be the mode of financing, in our view? What I liked about uh, Lithuanian experience was that uh, they somehow managed uh, to agree among themselves in the parliament. Uh, the, uh, the Social Democrats, uh, the Conservatives, uh, uh, in terms of uh, you know putting forward the questions of uh, security and so forth. Uh, 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 and uh, in Verkhovna Rada now, uh, there was a meeting under Mr. Kubi's uh, uh, chairmanship uh, to complete this uh, plan uh, by September the 24th mm, to uh, what uh, investments we need, uh, uh, maybe for some innovations in our economy. And uh, before the summit uh, of uh, uh, the European uh, neighborhood, we wanted to discuss uh, it. So, we need uh, uh, to uh, reply to the expectations, including of myself, for example, uh, f for the development of this uh, plan uh, that would uh, improve uh, employment in Ukraine. Uh, for that, uh, we need the agreement among uh, uh, parliamentarians, uh, the government uh, should uh, 
finalize the plan itself. And uh, so uh, we uh, need to uh, get together and uh, complete, uh, finalize this uh, plan. I'm glad that uh, we are all here. Mr. Ramones is here from the Ministry uh, of Foreign Affairs of uh, Lithuania. Mr. Kubilis uh, calls him Lithuanian Marshal. And uh, uh, he has already looked through uh, all the documents. He has analyzed all technical uh, uh, options uh, with regard to Ukraine's eligibility for uh, any investments, additional investments. Uh, so it's now up to us, to the Ukrainians, uh, to uh, to finalize all uh, this. So thank uh, you, Mr. Maksuta. Thanks to all others for uh, the initiation of this discussion. Uh, we need uh, also to uh, uh, better understand uh, our national interest because uh, before uh, we had been uh, mostly seeking the uh, loans and credits, uh, the cheaper the better. Uh, we uh, need to acknowledge that we are not a gray zone, so to say, uh, between uh, uh, Russia and uh, uh, the NATO, and uh, we want to be a, an economically developed country. Thank you, uh, Ms. Natalia. Uh, let uh, me then uh, ask uh, organically uh, arising from your presentation a question. Uh, Uh, what will be this transition, uh, or what what might be this transition between uh, uh, the bagging mode and uh, economic growth mode or enrichment mode, uh, if we can say, for as the main uh, mode of development for Ukraine? Mr. Kalasuk, uh, you have the floor. Well, thank you for the initiative, and uh, Mr. Masuta, thank you for uh, for an invitation. It's a valuable opportunity to discuss uh, uh, the, uh, this idea uh, with uh, experts and uh, representatives of the media. Uh, well, first, we need to uh, understand when we compare uh, Ukraine's situation with uh, uh, the Marshall Plan period uh, situation in Europe. Uh, the, uh, uh, motivation, the primary motivation for the Marshall Plan was uh, uh, the uh, uh, drive, uh, the main driver was uh, the desire to, as Mr. Babilius uh, uh, mentioned, uh, uh, to uh, create uh, well being, so to say, in Europe in order to counter the spread of communism. Uh, therefore, uh, we need to acknowledge, first of all, that uh, there should motivation for uh, the United States uh, and the other countries uh, uh, to uh, make uh, uh, this country what it is uh, rather than uh, Russia. And together with uh, uh, some of my like-minded uh, people, uh, 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 we discussed uh, earlier uh, uh, that idea, uh, we, initi we initiated it uh, together with uh, Mr. Leshko, who is the uh, head of our party. Um, uh, today, uh, we are at the next uh, stage of this discussion. The discussion was spread to uh, the other countries, uh, European countries. And with that, I uh, also uh, want uh, to point out that uh, Marshall Plan was uh, not uh, only about money. Uh, it uh, included uh, the uh, writing off the Marshall Plan, including the writing off uh, of 50 percent of uh, Germany's uh, debt. Uh, also, the stimulate the measures for stimulation of exports. Uh, um, and the scale of support uh, provided uh, by the United States 
uh, if we convert uh, the then uh, dollars uh, po uh, purchasing power into modern uh, today's dollars purchasing power, we can say that it's uh, about 130 billion dollars of today. Um, we uh, can. Uh, t we need to take uh, into account also uh, when we speak about the motivation for the country's uh, potential donors, why uh, should uh, they f be motivated to help uh, uh, this country when they have uh, uh, in their own countries the problems of their own uh, with the economy and uh, social problems and so on. Uh, the fact that a Marshall Plan uh, is uh, not only uh, about economic issues, but also about political issues, that's what we need to uh, clearly understand, as well as another important aspect before similar plan, uh, like Marshall Plan, uh, is initiated for Ukraine. Uh, we need to prevent the Morgenthau Plan uh, for Ukraine uh, to be initiated. You uh, might uh, know that uh, the Morgenthau Plan uh, was in action before Marshall Plan. And the Morgenthau Plan uh, included deindustrialization of Germany. Uh, uh, and uh, sometimes now we hear some suggestions uh, from the European L Union, like elimination of some uh, export uh, uh, constraints, uh, for example, uh, about uh, uh, the wood uh, uh, importation from Ukraine. Uh, so we need to be uh, uh, cautious and uh, we need to demonstrate in the leading uh, countries, in their capital, uh, uh, capitals, uh, what we consider the priorities of this, uh, let's provisionally call it, Marshall Plan for Ukraine. It should also comprise probably some loans uh, component, but uh, these loans uh, should be followed by some uh, investments. These investments, uh, as of now, uh, do not uh, have uh, strong prospects because I have here the data, for example, as of July the 1st of this year. Uh, uh, what do you think was the place uh, of the United States, for example, as one of the leading economies in terms of uh, foreign direct investment? Uh, it's on the 14th place in the world. Uh, so is that the level of our strategic uh, relations with the United States? The United States uh, uh, are one of the leading economies, but among the leading uh, investors uh, in Ukraine, we have Cyprus in the first place. Uh, on the second place, uh, the Netherlands, uh, the third place, the Russian Federation. Um, uh, when we speak about Cyprus, we understand that these are the same Ukrainian money, but just uh, uh, exported from Ukraine sometime later and now coming back. Uh, as an example, we can take uh, Poland that is getting about 10 billion uh, euros uh, each year. Uh, for economic development, for uh, uh, innovations, for science research, for uh, trans-European uh, uh, transportation uh, uh, networks, and that's Poland, uh, which does not have, uh, uh, which does not conduct any hostilities. Uh, Ukraine uh, do, uh, does conduct uh, hostilities, so our situation is even uh, more difficult. Well. Uh, Dear audience, please, if you have any questions, uh, ask them later, because uh, we need to uh, now uh, uh, pass to the second question. What's the amount of aid that Ukraine needs? How much money does Ukraine need? Where that money can uh, come from? Uh, so, uh, Victor, uh, again, you mentioned this uh, um, uh, figure about uh, uh, f foreign aid to Poland, you mentioned 10 billion uh, a year. Uh, so let me give the floor to Mr. Maksuta, who is uh, uh, the director of uh, the Institute of Social Research of Ukraine and uh, the former first uh, uh, deputy minister of uh, 
uh, of economy of Ukraine? Well, uh, I uh, will try to avoid repeating myself. Uh, the first question you asked, how much money does Ukraine need? Uh, uh, the figure of 5 billion uh, was mentioned, 5 billion euros. What should be the logic here? Uh, we do not need any more loans. Uh, we have had uh, Our economy is weak now. Uh, the economy that uh, takes more and more loans, uh, being weak, does not uh, is not capable of uh, returning, re repaying those loans. Again, that uh, will end up in uh, a default, uh, in the best case scenario, by, uh, and by the attempts to restructure this uh, uh, debt, national debt. What, how much investments do we need into our uh, uh, main capital? According to our calculations that uh, uh, we uh, completed in uh, uh, 2015, uh, we arrived at uh, around uh, 600 billion uh, dollars for 10 years, which means uh, 50 to 60 billion uh, uh, dollars a year. Ukraine's uh, economy uh, already uh, generates overall 13 to 15 billion uh, dollars for uh, the investment into uh, uh, main capital of our economy. And uh, this is net of uh, uh, foreign direct investment, which uh, uh, now amount only to 3% of uh, uh, overall investments. So uh, what uh, I mean is not uh, uh, is, is the establishment of a system that uh, is capable of generating uh, uh, such investments by itself. We need to discuss that to let us uh, uh, discuss uh, different options uh, and uh, I would like to thank everyone uh, who is now in favor of a, a similar a plan for a plan for Ukraine. Um, we uh, now have uh, the rate of accumulation of uh, uh, the main capital of around seven percent, and uh, in uh, the uh, report on uh, the. Uh, 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 SDGs, uh, Sustainable Development uh, Goals, that uh, will uh, soon be uh, presented in Ukraine. Uh, uh, the figure for Ukraine is around 30% uh, 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 growth for the investments. Second uh, issue, uh, where these investments uh, should go uh, what uh, sectors of the economy. When we were preparing uh, this uh, uh, graph, uh, we uh, took uh, two parameters, uh, the knowledge intensity and then also the productivity. Uh, so uh, for both of these parameters, investments are needed. So we analyzed uh, what should be the uh, main products of Ukraine's economy, uh, and we came to the conclusion that these should be uh, uh, knowledge or technology-intensive goods. These uh, are only capable of being a driver for an economy. And so we thought that uh, the larger portion of uh, these investments uh, should be invested in that uh, high-tech development, so to say, for Ukrainian economy. And uh, that's uh, and uh, here we uh, uh, th think about also the importance of infrastructure, of uh, uh, support of small and medium enterprises. Uh, in my view, uh, uh, we need to focus on uh, the real drivers uh, for economic development, which is high tech sector. Uh, in that regard, I think there should be a fund uh, created, maybe a joint fund between Ukraine and potential donors, and uh, 
uh, this fund should accumulate uh, uh, the uh, financial resources that can be uh, invest, invested. Uh, yeah, to share uh, these views, we can involve the uh, other, uh, even public organizations. We uh, have among our participants uh, 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 Mr. Karablin, who uh, uh, came a few minutes ago, and uh, he is representative of the institution. Uh, our question to you is what should do uh, and the National Bank of Ukraine do that the uh, investments are achieved uh, that uh, can contribute to the GDP growth uh, uh, from uh, 6 to 8 uh, percent? So you asked uh, a small question, so to say. Uh, such a question is uh, uh, certainly a little bit provocative, so uh, let me uh, also answer in a little bit provocative mode. Uh, I'm not uh, going to, uh, you know, to diminish uh, the uh, positive results that uh, appeared uh, in uh, our economy recently. Probably uh, the, the GDP is growing for some time, yes. Uh, the infrastructure is improving, yes. Uh, why then uh, there is uh, dissatisfaction with the economic situation of Ukraine? Probably, the, the answer is that probably uh, people are not satisfied uh, uh, with, uh, what, with that rate of growth. According to uh, the uh, IMF's uh, projects, uh, uh, our economy is going to growth, uh, to grow, and given uh, the answer here is that given uh, the hole into which we fell, and uh, in which we have been for many years now, uh, uh, we have uh, now following the uh, uh, so to say uh, uh, the underdeveloped uh, model of uh, uh, economic growth, the model uh, that uh, persists in underdeveloped countries. I was struck, for example, by a figure that uh, the investments into the main capital uh, of Ukraine, the data uh, that uh, we have available, is uh, to uh, is uh, is of 2015 uh, was about 13 percent. In uh, the developed economies, it's uh, not less than 23 percent. So we need uh, at least to double the speed of uh, the rate of uh, this of these investments into capital uh, main capital of our economy. Uh, so, uh, if we continue our present rate of growth, uh, we will uh, only be uh, one of those lagging behind uh, in this economic competition, global economic competition. Do we have uh, the resources in order to increase uh, these uh, investments? We have our own resources. Uh, we can, uh, according to our calculations, around 90 billion hryvnias. Uh, uh, are uh, in uh, there are about 90 million uh, hymnas in Ukrainian economy that are not invested anywhere. Uh, where is this money? It's uh, the remaining money on the accounts of the National Bank of Ukraine. So, for example, in the Treasury, there were 61 billion uh, hymnas. And in the deposit uh, certificates, certificates of deposit, another uh, 32 billion hryvnias. So these figures uh, point to at least two uh, prospects. First of all, the government has the means, but uh, Probably the government, uh, being cautious, uh, uh, wants to keep some reserve. And the National Bank uh, is simply not sure that 
all that money uh, does not go into the uh, money market of Ukraine and is not used for uh, uh, currency speculation and similar uh, finan purely financial operations, not investments. So how can we uh, get this uh, acceleration that we are seeking? Uh, if you remember uh, about uh, about 15 years ago, uh, the London Economist magazine, uh, 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 on one of uh, in one of his issues, had on its cover the uh, question: uh, uh, chips or chips, meaning crisps or chips, computer chips. So that's the question that we need to address. Uh, the current economic situation is, uh, for the government, uh, quite satisfactory. People uh, have uh, enough to eat. They are not dying of hunger. But uh, if uh, uh, the society wants the chips, the computer chips, the high-tech uh, economy, then uh, different approaches are needed. What is to be done? The answer to this is well known. The government knows it, has known it for a long time. Uh, private business in Ukraine cannot now uh, achieve that acceleration. The government should intervene, should uh, draw the investors uh, to produce some good examples, uh, strong examples, uh, success stories for foreign uh, investors. Uh, some guarantees, some privileges, especially in uh, the sectors uh, that are uh, high-tech uh, producing. Ukraine's potential here is uh, strong, and uh, we also need to think about the institutions of financial uh, development. Uh, we can take, for example, we, we take uh, loans uh, from uh, different funds, uh, financial funds in Germany and so on, and then resell that money uh, in, into China. That's what the Ukra, Ukra uh, Invest Bank d uh, is doing. So there are four largest banks under government control, uh, and their resources are not uh, used by the government for economic growth. The National uh, Bank has, so to say, tunnel view. Uh, they have uh, uh, as their main objective control of inflation. Uh, the government uh, also has uh, uh, this uh, another sort of, uh, but also tunnel uh, uh, view. Uh, they uh, uh, want uh, to uh, deregulate. That's their main uh, objective. They do nothing else. Uh, we need to excuse ourselves, and uh, uh, we need to leave you. So let us continue uh, in this uh, second uh, issue that uh, we uh, are going to discuss now. Uh, is the issue of uh, what are the most uh, attractive uh, sectors of Ukraine's economy. And uh, the second uh, part of this same question is uh, what sectors are most, attra most attractive for foreign direct investments. So whoever of uh, the speakers uh, would uh, like to answer this question, you're most welcome. Uh, Mr. Sergei. It's a very uh, provocative question. One cannot answer it uh, just uh, off the top of one's head. The first things that come in mind, uh, into mind uh, is that uh, we have uh, high-tech uh, sectors like uh, aviation, aircraft building, 
I understand that it's uh, highly privatized uh, uh, now, but still it's uh, uh, one of the potential uh, uh, potential uh, drivers, high-tech drivers for our economy. If we lose uh, that sector, then uh, we uh, will lose uh, the high-tech uh, prospects for our economy forever. Then it's, uh, there is Yuzhmash uh, plant uh, that uh, manufactures uh, rockets. Uh, I know that uh, these uh, uh, products of Yuzhmash are still uh, being considered uh, as uh, 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 in demand on the international market. Another thing uh, might be uh, the nationally produced uh, automobile. Uh, automotive industry, uh, even for uh, the agricultural sector, is an important uh, industry. And, uh, for example, maybe some of uh, the Agro-industries uh, could be offered this prospect of investing into uh, production of uh, different uh, uh, automotive uh, vehicles productions. They might as well cope with, uh, with that. So this is just uh, the blitz answer, so to say, the rapid answer uh, to your question. But if we start moving in this direction, there will be n new niches uh, uh, found uh, by uh, our businesses. We have uh, talented people. Uh, if we look at uh, the structure for indirect investments that Mr. Holosuk uh, referred to, uh, when he quoted these figures, for you to understand them correctly, uh, uh, you need to understand that uh, uh, privatization figures are also included uh, in there. Uh, so when we speak about Zaporozh Stal, for example, uh, uh, part of the uh, uh, profit, uh, profits uh, that were shown in those figures uh, were just uh, the privatization figures. Uh, these were not uh, the investments into uh, production capacity of, uh, of uh, the uh, factory itself. Uh, what we see uh, now is that most uh, investors invest uh, uh, and make direct foreign investments into agricultural uh, production as uh, having the quickest uh, uh, return periods. And uh, it was rightly mentioned uh, that uh, the state should support, the government should support uh, uh, the investments into some of the sectors that uh, need to be uh, designated, so to say, as uh, priority sectors. As uh, we uh, uh, see it in our uh, institute, uh, we need, uh, rather than designating the sectors themselves, we need to uh, maybe establish some criteria, some parameters uh, for uh, any sector to, uh, if, if it uh, uh, satisfies these uh, uh, parameters, uh, could uh, be considered uh, worthy of uh, uh, support uh, uh, of uh, the uh, government. Uh, and by the government, support by the government. Yeah, here we have the example of Nokia, for example, that uh, changed uh, its uh, uh, specialization uh, very quickly when the mobile communication started uh, developing. Another question that, uh, or one more question that I would like to ask you is uh, how important are the political uh, aspects of uh, uh, forming the favorable climate for uh, uh, for indirect investments. Uh, are there any political risks, so to say? Well, I hope that uh, the participants uh, of our meeting will also have an opportunity to uh, speak out. 
uh, what's the difference between uh, pragmatism and political adventurism? Pragmatism uh, invokes a pragmatic approach, uh, some rationale for any uh, economic uh, activity. When uh, nowadays we see some decisions uh, taken uh, uh, because of different motivations, like uh, uh, getting some uh, foreign aid or something like that, we still think that uh, the motivations uh, should be long-term rather than uh, uh, the uh, politician's uh, uh, approach uh, to survive until the next elections and so on, uh, to stay in power until the next elections. Um, When we have these situations when uh, certain political forces uh, uh, make, so to say, gifts, uh, New Year gifts uh, to the society by adopting uh, the uh, budget, national budget, uh, by the New Year's Eve, uh, then we uh, have uh, uh, political risks if we continue with uh, such approaches. So uh, the investments business uh, should have uh, uh, political support and intellectual support. Uh, we have seen that there are some politicians who are ready to support uh, this investment uh, uh, plan, uh, and uh, uh, the intellectuals uh, tell us that uh, there are some uh, ideas, uh, uh, there are bits and pieces of uh, that could be incorporated into that plan and then it's up to the government uh, uh, the government should uh, uh, lead this uh, process it should take care of uh, uh, the politicians uh, the experts that need to be uh, involved in uh, the formulation of uh, such plan uh, for economic development of ukraine speaking about uh, Politic, uh, speaking about pragmati pragmatic attitude, uh, we speak about, uh, uh, so to say, a growth corporation uh, establishment uh, in Ukraine. Uh, so, uh, some, uh, uh, so to say, uh, engine uh, that would uh, draw the, the the financial resources uh, that might be some uh, public ma asset management uh, agency of the government or maybe one of the state-owned banks and so on, uh, then uh, if uh, such engine is created, it can continue working uh, uh, independently. But pragmatism uh, is needed to adopt uh, the decisions that are most needed at the moment. Uh, by the country. I'm not going to repeat myself here. We have uh, already discussed that. Uh, uh, let me only uh, say, again, say it again that uh, we need uh, uh, government support. Maybe some working group uh, needs to be established by the government or under the government's auspices. Uh, this uh, 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 engine, in other words, cannot uh, be established without a government. Well, uh, listening to what uh, you said, I uh, I cannot but ask myself about uh, the extreme uh, conditions uh, that characterize populist uh, approach. If uh, we uh, speak about uh, high tech. Uh, development for our economy. Uh, let us be realistic. We cannot uh, start producing uh, computer chips on our own within the next uh, few years. Let's be more realistic and uh, uh, say that, for example, uh, uh, we uh, can uh, also uh, look at another extreme of that populistic approach when, uh, for example, uh, Zaporozhstal was uh, uh, privatized. There were uh, a few billion uh, uh, dollars 
uh, obtained as a result of that privatization, that amounts to a significant portion uh, of uh, the financial resources that we have already received from the IMF or that we are planning to receive from uh, the IMF uh, uh, in the future. Uh, Mr. Sergei, I uh, have uh, one more question. Maybe you can ask, uh, maybe you can uh, uh, quote an example uh, of uh, any other country of that success story of high tech sector development. For example, uh, that Nokia, uh, example of uh, the Finnish uh, uh, corporation, uh, Nokia. Uh, we have already had in this uh, country a commission uh, under the government's auspices uh, that uh, was supposed to work out uh, the vision for the future. Uh, but it ceased to exist, this commission. It was disbanded. Uh, well, we can all have our views. Uh, my view, for example, uh, of this issue is that when uh, the parliament, for example, uh, uh, adopted the law on the limitation of exports of uh, raw wood from Ukraine, uh, unprocessed wood. I think that was a progressive step because uh, after I uh, spoke to the producers of, of furniture uh, here in Ukraine, they complained that they uh, didn't have enough uh, wood uh, here in Ukraine for, for their products. And uh, that's uh, paradoxical because uh, uh, we do not have uh, wood for the producers of furniture, local producers of furniture, but we do not, but we do have uh, enough wood to uh, export it into Europe and uh, for the European importers. Thank you. And so, uh, what's uh, your view of uh, the prospects of uh, Ukraine's overcoming political populism? and what might be the role of uh, the parliament here, what might be the role of the cabinet of ministers, of uh, uh, the president of the country. Uh, let us discuss uh, this uh, question, or maybe if uh, you uh, want to uh, put uh, questions uh, uh, on any other issues that uh, we have already discussed. Vasil Yurchishin. Razumkov Center, Mr. Anatoly, you will have uh, to uh, uh, be in charge of uh, your uh, MPs. Uh, you are now a public uh, servant, uh, but uh, they used to be your uh, uh, fellow party men. Um, and uh, speaking seriously, uh, uh, can we now? Uh, seriously discuss uh, the opportunities uh, of uh, uh, acceleration of growth, uh, of uh, uh, you know switching to the development of high tech sectors. Uh, are we realistic when we uh, discuss uh, that? Because uh, uh, politically, the prospects are that uh, in the next uh, two years, uh, we will probably uh, have to face the growth of populism with the approach of uh, the elections. And uh, uh, second question is uh, uh, Marshall Plan uh, that you uh, uh, promote, uh, uh, different features of that plan. Uh, maybe the alternative is uh, more interesting uh, for Ukraine, like Silk Road. Uh, uh, so not from uh, the west to the east, but from the east to the west. Uh, uh, the contribution to economic development of Ukraine from there. Well, let me first of all point out that uh, Ukraine has been governed uh, from different uh, uh, centers of power, so to say international centers of power, from one uh, uh, direction from the other uh, direction. And so uh, the uh, groups uh, of uh, powers that be in Ukraine, they are governed by their own interests, uh, tied up uh, oftentimes to uh, uh, 
some outer interests. So by itself, the uh, power system in Ukraine is weak, and uh, we uh, are now trying to make this uh, weak uh, uh, power system to govern uh, Ukraine efficiently and uh, effectively. Uh, let me compare this uh, uh, situation to a company, a business company, uh, when someone uh, uh, puts the management of the company uh, in charge of running that company. So we need something like that for Ukraine. I'm not a public servant any longer. Uh, I am an entrepreneur, and I consider the entrepreneurs being a, a, a source of uh, this uh, uh, so to say, inspiration, this motivation for the powers that be in Ukraine to uh, assume some responsibility for this country. When I was a public servant, I remember that uh, the most successful uh, projects were those uh, which were led uh, by uh, the uh, Ukrainian side and uh, the foreign partners uh, were um, offering uh, their advice. That's how it worked. Uh, if we change uh, the roles, for example, if uh, somebody tells us from the outside what to do and we uh, merely uh, comply, uh, that's not going to work. So we need to show uh, the attractive uh, uh, features of Ukraine's uh, economy, uh, why to motivate uh, foreign uh, direct investment and that's how we manage uh, to improve uh, uh, the income of uh, our population the well-being of the population and the population itself uh, will become uh, one of the investors and that's uh, how we can uh, improve the situation uh, in uh, our country well speaking about directions of uh, cooperation, I think they should be various, both uh, from the east uh, to the west and from the uh, west to the east. Uh, there are African markets. China is already one of our leading uh, commercial partners. Therefore, we need to look in different directions uh, depending on uh, what uh, products uh, different sectors are uh, more interested in. So in the West, I think uh, there are still uh, some better prospects for uh, high-tech development of our economy. Uh, reminiscing, I'd say that uh, uh, Mr. Vasily's uh, 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 question was uh, rather provocative because uh, uh, he is an economist himself, and he has been involved in these attempts to uh, to somehow uh, uh, galvanize Ukraine's economy, which uh, is very, very difficult. Well, thank you. Uh, we have uh, uh, enough time for a couple of questions until the end of uh, our program, uh, as it is uh, aired uh, on TV. But then we will be able to continue our discussion afterwards informally. Well, thank you for this discussion of the prospects for investments uh, into our economy. We understand that Ukrainian businesses are usually not ready to cooperate with the investors, but uh, uh, I hope they uh, can learn. Uh, uh, you have uh, not yet mentioned uh, uh, the uh, most one of the most important factors. Uh, the political will. Uh, uh, for example, uh, I had uh, uh, an instance of my friends from the Silicon Valley uh, willing to invest, at least they declared their willingness to invest around 150 million in various uh, assets uh, in Ukraine. Uh, they uh, uh, very soon grew reluctant to continue because they were told how much money they were supposed uh, to uh, pay in order to make these investments. Uh, uh, so it's, it's a pity that uh, the uh, members of the parliament uh, have uh, left, but uh, I would uh, very much like to hear uh, what's uh, uh, being done in order to uh, make uh, 
to improve political will, so to say, in order to create uh, better uh, investment conditions in uh, Ukrainian economy. Uh, uh, I cannot remain silent also because of that uh, terrible uh, education uh, law, law and education system uh, in Ukraine that was adopted uh, a few days ago by the Parliament of Ukraine. Uh, uh, it uh, makes me uh, very hesitant about the future uh, of uh, Ukraine as a country. Well, speaking about political will, uh, it's the, the most important thing is uh, to put this political uh, will into uh, uh, the on, on the right path, so to say. As we have already mentioned, a lot of laws are uh, being adopted. Uh, uh, promulgated by the Parliament uh, simply because uh, they, uh, the Parliament has its own timetable and uh, or the timing is uh, such that some political uh, uh, parties in the Parliament need to prove uh, uh, something uh, or to do something uh, that corresponds to their interests. Whatever number of the working groups uh, or decisions or directives uh, uh, taken uh, it doesn't matter that uh, uh, the investments start pouring, uh, uh, raining, so to say, onto uh, our, our country. You can take a book of our institute of, uh, about uh, uh, pragmatism, uh, political and economic pragmatism. Uh, you could see a table there, uh, or rather a chart there. Uh, where you have the y-axis and the x-axis. Uh, here you can see the uh, overall exports, giving you the idea of uh, the export potential. And the other axis, axis X, uh, says, uh, describes the uh, uh, high-tech uh, sectors. Education as uh, uh, as the sector of our economy is uh, rather unprofitable. So, uh, for uh, the education uh, to become uh, more profitable, it needs to be uh, uh, made more competitive. Let me add just one uh, remark. In Ukraine, uh, for its education uh, to be uh, competitive. Uh, economy should be competitive. It should be, it should have uh, modern technologies uh, that the education system can uh, also share the knowledge about these technologies uh, with uh, the students. Let me summarize our discussion for uh, and we uh, will uh, round up uh, 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 wound, uh, wind up our discussion. After that, we uh, will continue uh, uh, our discussion informally. So the discussion, uh, pl a plan for Ukraine, not a Marshall plan, or a plan Ukraine, not Marshall plan, uh, this discussion uh, has uh, uh, been uh, completed. Uh, thanks to Mr. Kubilis as our guest from uh, Lithuania. And uh, a lot of uh, uh, options and views uh, uh, has uh, been expressed on uh, the possibilities of uh, uh, making Ukraine, uh, Ukraine's economy uh, growing. Uh, our smart talk uh, uh, format uh, was successful as many experts contributed to our discussion. We uh, uh, say goodbye to our online viewers, but as we uh, still uh, have uh, uh, our audience uh, here, we can continue informally. Дякую. 
вдалим з точки зору світової спільноти. І там були льготи, інсентів, так звані. Там п'ять років не платили податки. Тобто дуже-дуже хороший був закон щодо іноземних інвестицій. Но ми з вами знаємо, що не збільшилися іноземні інвестиції. Там був якесь зростання 2,5% і більше нічого не сталося. Потім з'явився Кіпр. Потім з'явилися олігархи. Да? І ніхто, е Гейс дуже зробили під його редакцію книжку, і ніхто е структурними реформами в промисловості, яку ми отримали, не займався 25 років. Ми сьогодні кажемо інвестиції в капітал основний, а структуру, знаємо ми його? Не знаємо. Вивчили? Не вивчили. Вона змінилась досить сильно за 25 років. А не здається вам, що, от хотів би вашу думку, всіх вас трьох, що сьогодні... Today we need uh, to answer uh, the uh, question of uh, uh, political uh, usefulness uh, of uh, Ukraine uh, to uh, some of our partners. Uh, do they need Ukraine as a uh, uh, state, as a country, or do they need uh, Ukraine just as a territory for uh, resource, resources rich territory? Uh, there was uh, that uh, description of uh, the reason of the motivation for the Marshall Plan as being driven by uh, uh, Stalin, uh, the threat of the spread of communism. It was uh, valid for that time, but uh, the situation uh, uh, around us now is absolutely different. Uh, maybe uh, we should... Uh, we, uh, the Ukrainians should ask themselves whether they are, uh, whether their country is uh, uh, needed by uh, or, and, and viewed uh, positively by uh, uh, the uh, other uh, countries. Uh, well, there was an article in uh, the Zerkalo uh, uh newspaper uh, some time ago. We started discussing it then. Uh, there was uh, uh, that uh, discussion, uh, the, the period of initiation of that discussion. Uh, uh, the answer after a couple of years of this discussion, uh, the answer is that uh, Ukraine uh, was given uh, Western values but not uh, was not given Western uh, money. Uh, so uh, what we need now is uh, that we need to get uh, uh, the money, financial resources, uh, but our own system of governance. Uh, uh, governance. And then uh, uh, one can see uh, some prospects for uh, this country. How realistic it is. The first uh, step is uh, uh, an objective, uh, can be an objective. Uh, if we are not doing uh, anything, uh, uh, then the situation will deteriorate anyway. Well, I'd say that uh, uh, the powers that be in the West, they uh, have something in store for Ukraine, uh, maybe not uh, the direct membership in the European uh, Union, but still they might have uh, some other projects uh, like what, uh, as Mr. Kubilis uh, uh, had mentioned, the Marshall Plan uh, for, uh, for Ukraine. The Marshall Plan, uh, I agree, is something different. It's If you do not object, uh, I will agree to some of uh, uh, your statements, uh, but not, but will disagree with uh, some others. The questions uh, uh, are understood and viewed different and put differently. For example, we do not go uh, to our neighbors' houses and wash uh, uh, the floors uh, in their apartments. Uh, 
And likewise, so for us uh, to count on our neighbors uh, to come and wash our floors, I think this is not realistic. Nobody will uh, come here and just wash the floor for nothing, uh, for getting nothing in return. I think this is just uh, uh, illogical to hope that this will uh, happen. If we speak logically, uh, then uh, we should ask ourselves what are we going to construct uh, in this country, what kind of country, what, what kind of economy, and then answer that uh, question. Uh, Alexei Lubetsky, uh, the, uh, some Israeli uh, media company, uh, it's my, uh, I do not have a question. Uh, I have rather a uh, 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 reflection. Uh, a neighbor uh, might uh, uh, make some, uh, uh, incur some expenses uh, uh, on the account of their neighbors in order to improve, for example, the appearance of, uh, of the assets, or, for example, of the real estate of their neighbors, so that his real estate does not uh, lose uh, in value. Uh, referring to Israeli example, for example, uh, I can say that in Israel uh, there are some uh, financial resources, uh, and uh, uh, these financial resources are rather cheap, are not expensive, and uh, for a number of years there has been uh, under discussion a draft uh, of an agreement uh, between the Ukrainian government and the Israeli government about uh, the uh, increase of investments into Ukraine. But uh, this agreement has not uh, been uh, concluded uh, yet. And uh, uh, we can say uh, that uh, uh, with that analogy, with that parallel uh, uh, of, of the neighbors and neighborhood, uh, 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 there indeed could be some uh, uh, something done by uh, one neighbor to the other. Uh, just uh, of, uh, out of mere fear that uh, the neighbor, if uh, totally uh, uh, not taken care of, abandoned, might get drunk and uh, set his own house on fire and that fire could spread, things like that. Well, uh, this discussion uh, uh, has already been uh, on the way for some uh, time. Uh, for Ukraine, uh, the, not the plan is uh, uh, material, but uh, the investments themselves. Uh, I have uh, uh, been engaged uh, in uh, uh, this uh, investment business uh, for a number of years, and uh, uh, for example, this comparison uh, of uh, uh, between Ukraine and Lithuania is uh, seem to me just absurd because uh, uh, Ukraine uh, is uh, uh, a dozen times larger than Lithuania, and its population is uh, ten times more numerous than that of uh, Lithuania. Uh, therefore, uh, Lithuanian example in the context of Marshall Plan uh, did not seem. Uh, 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 relevant to me. When we speak about uh, the resources available for the resources, uh, there are some resources uh, that, uh, for example, uh, the uh, resources of the uh, National uh, Bank. Uh, uh, there is just reluctance among uh, the uh, authorities uh, of various uh, types uh, in Ukraine to, uh, to spend that money uh, at, uh, in a given uh, uh, difficult economic situation. So uh, my view is that in order to improve the investment climate, uh, uh, we need to uh, transfer even more authorities from the central government uh, in Kiev uh, to uh, the local authorities. Uh, and one small uh, remark, uh, uh, Russia is uh, by now it achieving uh, uh, 
uh, its uh, uh, goal uh, in uh, uh, you know slowing down uh, uh, decentralization uh, process in Ukraine because they imposed on us uh, that uh, conflagration uh, in the east. That's why this decentralization has practically been uh, uh, stopped, and therefore these reform offices uh, that we have here and there and uh, have been discussing various uh, plans and options, uh, uh, we still uh, need to remember that uh, Ukrainian, Ukraine's economy uh, can hardly be managed nowadays from one central, uh, from one center, like from Kiev. Uh, uh, these, uh, uh, these discussions uh, on uh, uh, on uh, where to invest, for example, uh, these seem to me uh, outdated because, uh, uh, like this uh, analogy with the Marshall Plan, uh, can you, uh, uh, s s being here in Kiev, uh, make a, a correct decision, a valid decision on where to invest and what to, in uh, how much to invest, and so on? Well, let me agree with you. Uh, these uh, general discussions uh, they uh, are uh, useful and interesting. And uh, but uh, we need also to uh, get more practical. Uh, but uh, if we all of a sudden have uh, this amount of uh, money that we seek, for example, those 50 billion uh, uh, euros or dollars, if uh, uh, they, uh, if Ukraine gets them, uh, where should one place that money? How one should uh, or can use that money? Uh, uh, whether we should put it uh, into uh, into treasury or or where we uh, apart from the treasury we do not have any uh, uh, investment consuming so to say or investment processing uh, government agency. These institutions uh, 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 the government needs in order to uh, reduce the risks. Uh, for uh, for an investor, uh, an investor would like to uh, get insurance somewhere for his investments uh, and so on, and uh, we, uh, for you not to misunderstand us, uh, we are not against decentralization, uh, but uh, we still are in favor of sort of a national strategy for uh, the investments. Now, in the European uh, countries, uh, they uh, now discuss the smart development uh, strategy. Uh, the regions have their own uh, views and, uh, and uh, plans, but it's incorporated into a national uh, uh, strategy. I'm not going to object to this. Uh, I respect uh, your view, and uh, I'm certain that a lot of people uh, in the regions, uh, they are convinced that uh, uh, management from Kiev uh, uh, alone uh, is incapable of uh, bringing about uh, economic uh, development to the country. But let's look at an example. Uh, it's two th uh, 2014. Uh, uh, the Krimnia uh, started uh, uh, experiencing difficulties and uh, uh, the National Bank asks the uh, Finance Ministry, a question about uh, uh, about uh, what to do with the uh, most widely exported uh, uh, products, so that uh, they are not subjected to any uh, constraints uh, on the currency export, uh, because that was the big problem. The uh, uh, a lot of people were trying to uh, drive the money out of the country. Um, and the Ministry of Finance uh, just answered, uh, uh, you know, in uh, probably a neoliberal uh, view that there can be no constraints. Uh, it will be against the market rules. Uh, there will be no uh, constraints uh, as uh, to uh, one uh, or for one sectors as compared to the others. Uh, if we uh, seek uh, stabilization of uh, uh, national currency. Sergei uh, Sapegin, uh, 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 Economic Research Center, 
Uh, I agree with Mr. Anatoly uh, when he said that uh, uh, economic potential of Ukraine uh, is uh, very strong uh, and that we uh, now uh, need the instruments for uh, uh, to, to uh, uh, use the investments uh, rationally. We, as uh, the volunteers, uh, started discussing uh, uh, started the discussion involving the experts for their assessments uh, to, to get their assessments of uh, uh, these uh, uh, these uh, potential instruments. Uh, we had more than 1,500 uh, proposals and suggestions from the experts. Uh, larger part of them was uh, for the energy strategy. We sent uh, them uh, to the government all, all these uh, proposals, but we are still waiting uh, for uh, the energy strategy, uh, and we have not yet uh, 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 got any reply. Yes, thank you for your example. It's very interesting, at least in as far as uh, uh, the uh, most uh, interesting and useful mode of discussing uh, the uh, development of uh, plans and uh, legislation uh, for our uh, uh, country. Thank you again, uh, dear Media Center, dear audience. Uh, thank you very much for uh, your participation in this discussion.